Hey everyone, Doug here at the Jewelry Monk Studio with another tip today. Today we're getting into a, a little bit of technical bezel filing, if you follow me. Um, a lot of times you're working on a bezel and you're getting it ready to solder together. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that those two ends that you're soldering together are completely flush. You don't want any gaps in there. And a lot of times, um, when people are filing those, you, you get some flex in your bezel. So your, your bezels, instead of being flush, they actually kind of like this, there's a little bit of gap in there. And let me uh, explain what I, what I mean. So here is a, just a bezel that I'm getting ready to solder together. I use a number six, it's called an escapement equaling file. And I'll put it in between the two um, ends and I'll give the, the bezel just a little bit of, I don't know if you can see that, just a little bit of pressure as I'm filing. Now when I'm filing, I don't wanna file straight across this way. And you can see that. I don't wanna come straight across that way because what happens is that file is grabbing the two ends and it's giving it a little bit of twist. So as it's filing, it's doing this. Uh, to give you a better example, I've got some, some cutouts here. So when you file that way, what happens is your bezels end up looking like this. And you want them to look like this. So when you're, you're trying to file these bezels, if you come at it at an angle this way, straight across, that flex a little bit and it gives you an uneven uh, end. So, so what I like to do is you come in at a little bit of an angle this way, I don't know if you can see, let me zoom in a little bit. So again, you wanna come in at an angle kind of similar to this, that's not uh, straight across, but more of a, a perpendicular angle, and then a little bit of pressure and then file this way. And that'll give you uh, a little bit more success because the, the roundness of the bezel or the ring is actually supporting that piece and keeping it from flexing as much. So. Uh, and just kind of come in and, and you want to watch, make sure that your file doesn't hit the opposite end, but you just kind of come in there and, and a little bit of pressure and file it. You gotta see it that way. And, and that will give you a, a little bit more success as far as um, filing your bezels. Again, you want it to look like this so that it's a nice flush joint rather than this. This, bad this good so you want it, that's your your goal is to make it like that and sometimes i'll use a a snap-on sanding disc and come in the same way and do that give it a little bit of pressure as it's spinning and uh and then that way um it it makes sure that the two ends are parallel but again you want to watch the rotation of your sanding disc uh you don't want it to come in like this because it's actually going to flex a little bit so so you want the rotation to be more um, so that the, the flow is this way towards the ring instead of that way towards the ring. Hopefully that makes sense. It's, it's kind of um, awkward to, to explain when, I, when I'm not um, showing you in person. But, but again, if, you're, if the rotation is this way, you can see it's wanting to flex it that way. But if the rotation is either like this so that it's the rotation is um, forcing the, the bite that way rather than that way. Um, that helps. So again, this will help you, um, have better success, cleaner and flush solder joints. And again, make sure that before you solder this, you clean that really well because there's going to be some, uh, um, debris in there from your file. Or if you sand, um, there's going to be some debris from the sanding disc itself. So hopefully that helps. Again, check out all the tips at jewelrymonk.com or on the uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by.